Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to call custom methods using the XML RPC using Postman application. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to call row query, I mean the SQL query using the XML RPC. Please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Wavelands channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development and here you can see different playlist available with the different topic wise with the real task cases and this is the playlist we are currently working on so last time if you remember we already performed some crude operation authentication in the postman side here right so the same thing we are also performing but for the custom module right so for that like i'm trying to create a new request it would be always post and uh, let's say the URL would be the localhost 8069 XML and object. If you see here, this one. So this one we are directly using, right? And, and one more thing is like here, let's say this click button event we are trying to use so for that you can see here let me minimize this one and you can see this weblands method we have to call and it will return the multiple models data so first thing is like uh, we created basically one variable data as a list we call the search query the search read query to return the all fields including in the list of dictionary format same for the student also and both data we just combine into the key value pair including in the list when that list view the data we will return so this is our goal so this is custom module and this is custom method right and we are trying to do the same thing here in the body part right we have to just click to this row instead of the text we have to use here the xml and simple we can just use here the method call so this method call should be clause then after the method name would be the execute after that we have to pass the parameters right so we have to just use like this params params param param right let's oh sorry let's add four more and simple here the first one is the database name right so database name always would be string 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 so here odoo 16 1 and here we have to pass the integer value right the uid then after here like we have to use here the model name so model name should be the student but this is the string format and here also the method name we have to pass same like string parameter only the thing is here we have to use web lens. so web lens is the method name all right and simple we have to pass here the simple parameter is a blank so for that we can use here strict struct that's it and let's click to here and you can see access denied right ah so here i forgot one more thing is the password admin and this is a string format right and let's say click and now you can see the student school detail and the student detail is available here with the error you can see here 
school details, right? There is no school is available, so due to that, it's like written none. A, B, C, X, Y, Z, and once I will read on, sorry, I will call. Now you can see it's having the A, B, V, and now you can see this is the detail of the school profile X, Y, Z. So like this way, you can also call custom methods, not only not only the inbuilt methods in the postman so this simple code we have to pass i know the this is the hard to call this xml format right because here it will take a lot of time to prepare this for the xml structure right so in our upcoming session i will going to create a, some simple rest api how to create a rest api through the odoo and using the postman application and i will also try to create one more live real-time example so you will have at least uh, have an idea like how you can also call this xml rpc easily also the rest api that's it guys in this session if you have any doubt please comment below and please subscribe this channel like and share so it will help me a lot and see you in our next session and our next session would be how to set up a development environment for the Odoo 17. The good news is the Odoo 17 is launched in the GitHub repository so you can access the community version.